What's going on, fam? It's your boy, Papa Swolio, back with some more Balls Deep action. You're ready for the sack? Here we go. It's going in and... Oh, we're ready. We're ready. We're going in, and I hope you're hungry. I hope you're always hungry. Get it? Get it? <laughs> oh. woo hoo hoo That's deep. What's going on, fam? It's your boy, Papa Solio, back with some more Balls Deep action. I got some good juice for you today. Before we get into it, make sure you also subscribe to the Daily Swole podcast going live every single day right here on YouTube. You can subscribe to the podcast, but catch me live. Hit that notification bell so you know when daddy goes live. Come on, I want you to know. I want you to be there. I'm live every day. Go check it out. Go. All right, today's video is a little bit about the kind of mukbang, binge eating, calorie challenge videos. You might remember or you might be aware of someone, a fitness influencer, a fitness personality, Stephanie Buttermore, Alan made a video a few weeks ago about her big all in. She's going back and fixing all the damage that she's done to her body for being really, really low body fat percentage. And this whole situation kind of reminds me of the healthy at every size. You're not healthy if you're morbidly obese. You're not healthy if you're extremely emaciated and skinny. And this is where people usually have that discrepancy. They don't understand that because you're on stage, they think, oh, you have abs, you have muscles, you look a certain way, you have the biceps that they want, you have the abs that they want, the quads, the glutes, that they're healthy. And that's an extreme. It's not healthy to be that low body fat. It's not healthy to be competing and getting that lean. And you know, if you're doing drugs, it's not healthy doing that type of stuff to your body and extreme exposure to those types of fucking extremes. I can't even talk today. Both extremes are not good. You don't want to be emaciated, skinny, ripped, shredded to the bone, and you don't want to be morbidly obese. All right. There's a proper range and that's going to vary from person to person based on your height, based on your experience, what your goals are and so forth. So Stephanie has been just eating and she's going all in. She's just eating tons and tons of food. And I think it's a good thing to have this conversation that women know that it's not good. You have a lot of side effects. You're, you fuck up your hormones. You do a lot of damage to yourself when you're extremely dieted down because that's the classic thing that people want. They want to be lean. They want to be shredded. They want to be more tone, right? There's no such thing, but they want to be more tone. They want to see their muscles more. They want to have more shape. So people aspire to look like Stephanie Baltimore did and does. And so they try to copy her. And that's where she was making that point that I am not healthy. I'm not having a good time with my health. And she's being more transparent about it. But now she's kind of swung the opposite direction. She's going all in. She looks more bloated now. She said she put on like 30 fucking pounds and stuff like that. So I don't, I think she went a little bit too far, but you know, it's her journey. She apparently, or thinks she knows what she's doing. I wish the best for her. I don't want any harm to anyone. So she's doing that thing. And okay, I'll leave that alone because this is not about her, but this is kind of based on her. There's another account that is literally just mukbang binge cheat meal city. The account is always hungry. And I've had a few requests to make this video or make a video on uh, this person. And she, her claim to fame is just eating tons of shit. Is eating tons of shit. And this is someone who had an eating disorder in the past. By the looks of it, she still does. She has an eating disorder. An eating disorder is a poor relationship with food. And as a society, as a world, it's coming more and more international. But as a society, like a social media society with fitness and with attention, it makes for good thumbnails when you have tons and tons of all this garbage in the thumbnail. And you're like, wow, how'd I get all this food? I just did a mukbang video recently about Nico Cado Avocado. And all these types of extreme days of eating where you just obviously spent a lot of money on food and you have all this abundance. So it's something to show off. It's something that's colorful. It can grab a good thumbnail. And it's like, wow, who would eat all those donuts? Who would eat all those pancakes? Who would try to eat a day like The Rock? You know, people are trying to get views. They're trying to get attention. She's trying to get fucking views. Always hungry, always hungry for the views, always hungry for the attention. But what message are you sending? You had an eating disorder. You still do because you have no concept of what this food is doing to your body. Can you imagine the toilets in these houses from people that do these mukbangs? It's got to smell like a fucking toxic sewage, just a, a pile of absolute nuclear waste. This is all going through your body. Your body is processing this garbage food. Your body is processing all this fucking dairy and chips and candy. It's going in. What's, what's your body doing with it? It's trying to do stuff with it. You're just giving it concentrated fucking poison. So that being said, she said that she was going to cut back. She did this video and it was titled, I want you to know this. It was a month ago, so it's not super, super trending, but she said she was going to cut down 
on the cheat meals. She's going to do them once every 10 to 14 days. I love doing cheat days and I will continue doing cheat days. However, I won't do them every week. I'll do them every 10 to 14 days. I don't think she knows how to count because she's doing them every week and multiple per week. She started posting other types of videos. I believe on another channel, I saw some links to other videos that didn't get a lot of views. Shocker. So she went back to the binging. She went back to the cheat meals. And since that video, she said, I'm not going to cheat as much. She talked about how she's gone through this process of being more accepting of bloating. Cheat days really helped me to deal with changes in my body, you know, getting bloated and being okay with that. And how that's okay and not fearing calories. So you shouldn't be afraid of calories, but you should be afraid of eating poisonous calories and garbage calories. And if you're bloating, that's inflammation. You shouldn't be bloating when you're eating food. That be, that's because you're eating crap. You shouldn't be comfortable with bloating. That's not fucking normal. If it's not your time around your period, you should not be fucking bloating from food. That's because you're eating garbage. Listen to what she's been doing, the titles of these videos, since she made that I want you to know this video. She did a cheat day. Someone, Megan McCollum, I don't know who that is, chose my food for 24 hours. Lay's potato chips. There's fucking pizza or mac and cheese on pizza and donuts. Then she did six donuts for breakfast. Non-vegan tries vegan snacks. So in other words, she's eating vegan junk food. The Rocks Cheat Day, Food Lover Day, Relax Day of Eating Whatever I Want, which is the same as every other fucking video she's ever made. It's always whatever she fucking wants to eat. Then I made Robin Lasagna a week ago, 28,000 views, not a lot of views, but then Stephanie Buttermore chose my food for 24 hours. This is what she ate for that video for that Stephanie Buttermore Cheat Day. Six donuts for breakfast, a burger and pizza fries for lunch. And dinner, she had pad thai, a ton of sushi, and a brownie with ice cream. Okay, you have some sushi. That's probably the healthiest thing that she ate the entire fucking day. But six donuts for breakfast, when is that a good idea? I don't care if you're skinny. I don't care if you're blonde. I don't care if you're white. I don't care what your political stance is. I don't care what your socioeconomic... Six donuts for breakfast? Six donuts, period. I haven't had... Six donuts in a fucking week is a lot, in my opinion. Six donuts in a month might be a lot for some people. It's fucking storming outside. Even Thor, the god of thunder, is angry at this fucking bullshit. Who am I kidding? I'm Thor. Oh, 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 oh. Neither here nor there. You missed the Swole Avengers podcast. Maybe go check it out. Go subscribe to the Daily Swole. Swole Avengers assemble. <sighs> a lot of coffee. Anyway, this is what happens when you don't have a skill when you don't have anything valuable to share. You're just sharing yourself, eating yourself to death. You're sharing your eating disorder with the world. Why, thank you. People watch this because they wish, oh, I wish I could eat that and get away with it. She's not getting away with it. She's bloating. She has an admitted eating disorder. You know, when you're an alcoholic, you know what they say? Once you're an alcoholic, you're always an alcoholic, even if you don't drink again. If you have an eating disorder, you kind of always have an eating disorder. You're always keeping it at bay. You're always trying to reinforce good habits. But this is just another example of of one of those binge mukbang cheat day, cheat day pages. Why is this allowed on YouTube? Just someone eating themselves, just fucking pounding. A girl, a fucking girl eating or trying to eat what The Rock eats. Do you think anyone aside from The Fucking Rock should be eating what The Rock eats? Do you think anyone on this fucking planet, save for The Rock and a few unique specimens should even be considering coming close to that kind of caloric intake? Aside from The Fucking Rock himself, people should not be copying The Rock. You know People can't eat four, five, 6,000 calories a day and maintain an amazing physique. The Rock is The Rock, and The Rock is taking whatever The Rock takes to make millions and millions of dollars because his whole life revolves around his physique, his image, and that's what he does for a living. It's a very physical job in terms of what he does, in terms of his roles, in terms of doing wrestling and those kinds of like physical movies and things like that. So he's been doing that his whole life. He's a fucking rock. I couldn't even handle a rock cheat day. You know why? Because I ain't the fucking rock. I'm Papa fucking Swolio. So what are your thoughts about all this? Drop in the comments down below. Are you aware of this page, Always Hungry? She has only almost 180,000 subscribers. That's some serious fucking reach. And she said she was going to cut down on it, but obviously not cutting down on it. Obviously not cutting down the cheat meals, not 10 to 14 days, pretty much multiple times a week. And just the same type of thing, excessive, excessive, exorbitant caloric intake. And it's just not a good look. It's not a good look for this type of promotion from YouTube. And I don't agree with what Stephanie Buttermore is doing. I don't agree with that excessive all in mentality where you're eating 
garbage foods. I'm very big on food quality. That's going to lead to bloating. That's going to lead to migraines, to joint pain, to restlessness, to fucking, you know, just gut effects and negative feelings in your stomach, maybe stomach aches. You can have skin conditions. You can have a lot of issues from the quality of the food adding garbage chemicals and, you know, artificial flavorings and artificial amounts of just concentrated sugar to your diet. I'm just not a big fan of all of this. I think you have one problem replacing an initial problem. Like Stephanie was doing extreme restriction. Now she's doing extreme excess. And then these types of pages just feed off one another. And yes, I'm creating content for the views. I'm in the fitness industry. This is my thing. And it's just another exposure of this type of attention grab that is not sending a good message, especially to a world and a United fucking States that is just getting sicker and sicker and sicker by the fucking day. So what do you think? Drop in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say about these sites, about Stephanie Buttermore, about Always Hungry, about these cheat day videos and what someone else ate. Watch me. Oh, look at all this food that's on my plate. Not a fan. What do you think? Drop it below and remember to subscribe to the Daily Swole podcast on YouTube right here. Catch the live streams every fucking day. We go balls deep. I slap you some knowledge cock. You're not going to want to miss it. So go subscribe and hit the bell and do so here as well if you have not yet already. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for some more balls deep action. Peace out, fam. Oh, oh. Yeah, that was deep. That was pretty deep. It's not as deep as I've gone before, but pretty fucking deep. It's warm in there. I, I, I meant to tell you. It's, it's, it's warm. It's warmer than I thought. It's very homey. Thank you for the welcome, Matt. I appreciate it.